now with some tips on staying safe in the kitchen. It's probably the heart of most households. It's where everything is happening. So there are a lot of little things you can do to stay safe. And it doesn't take long for a house to burn down, does it? No, it does. How long do you think you have to escape a burning home? A couple of minutes. Under five, so about Under three five minutes. minutes. So that's not a lot of time. That is not time to go and start collecting your photo albums and your favorite things. Or even put on your underwear. No, no underwear, like, guys. It is, you know, get, make sure the kids and the pets are out of the house yes. safely. So under three minutes, and that's, uh, but about 30 years ago, you had about 17 minutes. And that's because oh. there were, um, things were made with more natural material. So our love of oh. synthetic materials. Goes up. Yes, it just burns so much quicker. So just keep that in mind. You don't have a lot of time. Okay. Yeah. Good so to know. In the so kitchen, be prepared. Yes. And in the kitchen, a lot of accidents happen with sharp things. Yes. And with dull things. So knives should be sharp. Keep your knives sharp. It is really important. Um, I don't get mine sharpened as enough as I should. I do yeah. a couple times a year. But the people who are sometimes a little bit skittish in the kitchen think, well, if I have a dull knife, I'm a little bit better off. Mm -hmm. But you can actually injure yourself more with a dull knife. It tends to need a little bit more pressure, yes. which means it can slip. So if you don't know how to sharpen your knife at home, Get it sharpened by professional, and yeah. that way you know it'll last a little bit longer. So a good test for your knives at home that I want you all to try is the tomato test. Okay. So if your knife is sharp, it should slice right through. Okay. And I'll get you to try with this one. This one should, is probably not a very sharp. So it's like. So it's if like, I'm doing this, <laughs> if, you're, if you need to squish the tomato, your knife yeah, isn't sharp I enough. Had to, I had to bruise but the tomato. But so for example, this one should be sharpened. Oh, See? it's yeah. beautiful. So it shouldn't take a lot of effort. So that's just yes. another key. In we terms still of, have the sharpening guide that goes around our neighborhood. Oh, that's the amazing. The sharpening truck. It makes yeah. it so much easier. So in terms of storing knives, this is really key. If you have a knife block, great. Yes. Uh, if you store your knives in a drawer. Don't store them loose. First of all, yeah. it's so dangerous to be rooting through and having yes. loose knives. They also dull a lot quicker because they're banging around with things. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, you can get an e a knife cover. Mm -hmm. You can get these easily online as well. This is a magnetic one for oh, my chef's nice. knife. Yeah. So this will help uh, uh, extend the life of your knives. Okay, so, very hand, key. hand wash them as well. Don't put them in the dishwasher. Exactly. They'll last longer if you hand wash them. Yes. Um, uh, let's <laughs> talk about cutting boards. Well, in terms of cross-contamination, it's a really great idea yeah. to have separate cutting boards for your meat and fish mm -hmm. um, and for your vegetables. So just pick up the plastic ones, you know, they're really inexpensive. Different colors, makes, this is what they do in professional kitchens, is different yes. colors, they're easy to identify. Okay. And you can sanitize them in the dishwasher. Right. So that's what's great about the plastic ones. Um, this is my kettle from home. This is my version 2.0. Okay. And because version 1.0, as much as I will, I will tell you this, do not store things on top of your stove. Mm -hmm. If it's general rule, if it's not a pot or a pan, then it shouldn't be there. Yes. So um, I made the mistake because it was just extra room that I had a kettle that yeah. was plastic and metal and I used to keep it on the stove. What I didn't realize is as I was cleaning, I had bumped the knob. So I turned it on didn't know and then I went out when I came home it was just gray smoke oh. of melting plastic oh. so I yeah, you're also disappointed in me I can tell <laughs> no but I think also we've been there you know yeah. so we have a picture of what can happen if you leave something on a burner like say a Look plastic uh, cutting board is that yep, what that that's was? a plastic cutting board Ooh. on top of an element that was perhaps already on or yeah. someone accidentally turned it on so you know it's kind of funny now it's like haha -ha, but that could have been something really really terrible same yes. with oven mitts tea towels that sort yes. of thing um, don't keep those on the stove just be really careful and have a first aid kit in the kitchen yes. uh, that's where you might need it you've got band-aids in there gauze everything you need to be protected hey yeah. thanks for the tips you're welcome